Hi all, just putting together a tutorial here for being able to create the AR for the AR assignment here. So there's a couple of things that you need to do first off to be able to do both of these, uh, putting together the images and making it active. First thing is to go to your phone and download the Art of Vive app, A-R-T-I-V-I-V-E app. It's free. It will let you be able to view the AR work once you're completed with it. The second thing that you're going to need to do is to go ahead and log into Artivive and create a user and password for you to be able to log in. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. Once you're logged in, You'll notice up at the top here that you can create up to five pieces for doing the AR work. So the AR is really very basic. It's basically taking a still image and linking it to a video or to a GIF file so that you can create some action, some motion with the images on it there. So we need two things. We need an original image that you're going to use as the key for activating it. And the second is going to be either a GIF or a video file of some sort of action playing off of the uh, key image. Okay, so it's kind of kind of a creative process where you can be able to make something that's linked to a still picture and to be able to create an action kind of image when you're holding up with your phone and being able to view it from there. So in this case, what I've done is I've created a a, a video file to be able to go with this image file that I have on the left over here. So basically what I did was go into Bridge, find that original image, and go in and edit that file to be able to create several different versions of edits to create some different colors, some backgrounds, and then within the GIF, Jiffy app, created that video or GIF file and was able to add some additional things like text and some different graphics to it there to create a kind of a different look to it here. So I took this file, I opened it up into the raw processor, I used some of the controls, primarily I used the tone curve here to create different kinds of saturations and adjustments and as I made those adjustments to the file here then I went in and went and clicked on save image. I created a folder that I was saving these to and I put it with a sequence number so I can create as many of these as I want to so I can have as many variations for the GIF file and save that out. Then went in and made other variations and changes here to see what other kind of color saturations and different versions that I might be able to create using this same kind of adjustment. So I'm going to go in and save another one out here until I had, in this case, I've got uh, nine variations on the file going to be able to create the, the GIF file. So once those files are all saved, I'm just going to say done to that for the moment. Okay. Now you'll notice that whatever I did last is going to here, be on here. I probably should have hit cancel, but we can go in and be able to remove that information on here as well. So if I right mouse click on the image, I can go down to develop settings and return it back to the camera raw defaults. Okay, really easy to get rid of that here in Bridge as well. So now I've got those images and I need to go ahead and create either a video file or a GIF file to be able to use with this. So I'm going out to the web and there is a, uh, a program that's out there called Giphy or Jiffy for being able to create those images. Uh, and it's all online, so you don't have to really download anything. It's all for free. So I'm going to go ahead and um, upload. Okay, and it'll come up here. So it's gonna ask you, uh, you can either browse for files or go for GIF files. In this case, I'm gonna go out and browse for those images that I did create and they are on my desktop in a folder called AR Photos and oh okay I'm looking for the wrong thing here so I'm actually in the wrong place let me back up here I'm going to go and create a GIF file so this is where I need to upload photos at so I'm going to go click on this one 
again I'm going out to find where I have those photos located here there are photos and I have one through nine as my variations I'm clicking on those and then I'm going to go to open and it's going to take those files and create that animated GIF or MP4 file, whichever you want to use. I don't know, I've used both, uh, one on each occasion. Uh, the MP4 file seemed to work a little bit better. I don't know. So we can save out both versions to see which one may work well for you here. So it's doing the processing here. Uh, we can also set how long we want the uh, each image to pop up. I like having it pretty quick, so it's kind of flashing the colors on the screen. You can see how they're popping up on the screen here as well. Okay, and once I kind of set the time on it here, uh, I'm going to get it all set. And we're going to go to continue to decorate. And then we're going to come in here. It's going to pop up and give you some options of things that you can do, like captions, stickers. You can add to it filters, or you can actually draw directly onto the picture as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and here and put in my caption. For this one, I was just using no entrance. Okay, and then from there, I kind of choose the font and then for the animation on it here, I kind of like the glitchy kind of look on it there. So I'm going to click on that and see if that will apply here. There we go. And that's kind of what it's going to look like on the screen when we end up using it for the AR file here. So from here, I'm going to go down and you can also see there's other things that you can use. Let's see, where was the other bad TV? That was the one I kind of selected because I liked how it gave it a little bit of a different look as well. And then the last thing we're ready to do is to continue to upload. This is to finish out. Okay. You can go ahead and put a title in for it here. On there, tags if you want to. You can have it public or not if you want to. We're going to upload it to Jiffy. And it's going to take a second to create that GIF file or video file, depending on what you're wanting to do with it. Processing, processing. So again, just thinking about creative ways that you can be able to make your images look, being able to use those different colors. You can actually do an animation if you know how to do animation, maybe being able to do like a character and doing movement. You could do that as well. But basically we're ending up with kind of a, a some sort of a video file that you can use to go with that. It could even be a recording that you could place with that image on it there. You can do your own video to go with it too. So we're waiting on it to finish up on this. So it's still doing the creation of the, the GIF file here. And there it goes. It's finally finished here. And the last thing we want to do is to go ahead and save out a copy of this so that we can upload it to the other site, the Archivive site. So I'm going to go to the link for media, okay, and one of the options here is for MP4, and I'm just going to go ahead and download that, and it's going to download that there, okay. You can also create, if you want to, a GIF file and save that out on it too. We've got it downloaded now, so I'm going to go back to our uh, Artivive page here. And you'll see I have one already created here. Instead of creating a new one, I'm just going to go and edit this one so you can kind of see the process on it here. So I'm going to go to the edit artwork here. It's taking a second. So here's my original image. Okay, and I just uploaded that file into here. And the next one here is I'm going to select a different video file now because I just created a new one. So I'm going to select file and I know this is in my downloads folder now. So it may take me just a second here to find it, but it should be right on the very top here is the last thing I created right there. And I'm going to click open and it's going to load that file in there. We're doing fine and we're just going to 
click on change and it's going to change and adjust that for that particular artwork so it now has an extra file because I created a couple more to go into that video as I was creating it there so now I'm going to go back to my original image we can see here and I'm going to go to full screen on it and we're going to see if we can't kind of take a look and see how Artivive will make some changes to it here. So give me just a second here while I get re-situated where you can kind of see on both of them here. So here's my Artivive app. Okay, I need to tell it to wake up here. It brings up the camera here and I'm going to turn it this direction and when I place it over the image you can see the original picture you can see it go and turn into an animated picture like that so just showing an option for being able to create kind of digital art in the AR form here where you can use your phone for being able to view the different bits of art in it as well this is something I want you to try and experiment with because it's something that you will find being used in commercial work but also in very creative artwork as well. So like I say we're just going to try to give it a shot and see if we can't be able to create some kind of unusual kind of artwork for us to be able to look at and to uh, show to others. You can always share this with your friends. All right talk to you later.